Ah, no, no, let me in. Okay. What, a game up or something? Okay, Brooks for it. Ah, screw it. I was gonna try to close the door, but <laughs> oh well. Uh, jump over here, get him to go away for a second. Alright. Oh, that's some bullshit. You just gonna come over and knock me off the box? That's how. That's how you roll. Probably got to at least try to close one of those doors. Maybe that's what it means by blocking the path. Okay, and the door. Oh, what it gave up again? Was it like a safety feature in this game or something where it's like you die like two or three times in a row the game? takes it easy on you. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright. This last door. Hopefully this is the last one. Looks like it's not. There we go. Bam. Next. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock all day. Come on, come on. There we go. Bam. Next. Keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make all the noise you want. <laughs> I like the nice decent music playing though. That's what's up. Was not expecting that. Although I wish this game would show me something more than just angry footsteps in the water. Stairway. Hmm, I like the music they're playing so far. What's that, dead body? Nope, nope. What, I can move water? What, what is that? <laughs> What's this like a sanctuary safe zone? <laughs> I'm guessing by the music. I don't have like my crosshair. Look at this one. I was crosshairs before. But maybe I was just. Maybe I'm just thinking about a different game. I want to hear the good music again. There we go. Check this room first. Before I leave. Open sesame guest room, okay. Wow, this guest room looks like shit. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Maybe they wanted that relic. Yet they mailed you. Of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Okay, 
guess he didn't know that he was probably the guy that caused it. Picked up oil. I don't ever use that damn lantern anyway. Broken lock. So, kicking the door down wouldn't be a good option? I mean, come on now. What, I'm gonna get a nice, you know, good sleep here? Is that what this is? I mean, it's probably the game's like telling me, click on the bed. Now, let me see what that is first. 3rd of July, 1839. Today, I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a lot detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Okay, crowbar up. I can get my Gordon Freeman on. Is that what the game's telling me? I got a weapon now? Although I probably got to use it to open that door on the other side, and then that's it. It's going to probably break or something like that. Can I change the shirt? No. Okay. Thought that was a save or something. Okay, fine. I'll click on the bed. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Okay, what is that? <laughs> Alright, can I use the crowbar on this door? Thought so. to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Well, that's what happens when you're dealing with magic. I mean, really. Okay, you better find a place to hide. I'm guessing it means this. That's what the clothes that or something. Defend myself from what? Oh, what is that? I want to see. What's up? Dude, dude, don't hide. No. Dude, what's up? Damn, you ugly as shit. Yo, man, s and parties is, you know, it's the other house, man. Yo, get out of my room, son. Y'all want to see what we look like face to face. Let's go. Fuck it. You know, because I, you know, I ain't scared of this little bitch. Probably going to kill me, but look at her. Jerking off in the corner and shit. 
Damn, yo, what the hell happened to your face, son? You just look all fucked up. <laughs> you know what? Take this. <laughs> uh, yeah, game, I know. You know, it's not that hard to, you know, to deduce. Maybe if I was eight. But there you go. But I figure some, you know, commentators or some, um, ooh, there we go. I figured some commentators, you know, they might have just jumped in there and you never get a good shot at it, dude. So you come to my channel, that's what you get. You know, I ain't afraid to jump out there and show you what's actually, you know, <laughs> what's actually trying to kill me, so. Because, you know, I mean, it's a video game. I mean, that's like half the fun. Half the fun, what I suspect in this game, is the whole figuring out the mystery and you know that feeling of oh my god is something right around the corner but them not actually showing it to you <laughs> kinda like um you know new age horror movies I mean that's, that, that's probably what it is it's, it's all about the atmosphere and then building that scary tension rather than just them just you know showing the monster and you gotta fight it you know cause, cause normally when you have scenes like that with newer horror movies, the rest of the reason I don't like them is because it's that's the whole movie. I mean, I grew up in the '80s, so <laughs> uh, I mean, I had good horror movies like I had Jason movies, Freddy movies, and all that shit. So in that, the horror was like, yeah, you had that in the beginning, but eventually you saw the guy, you saw him kill somebody, you know. 